What is going on everyone? Nick here and welcome back to Knack Crater County and City Skylines. Where last time we, we started our farm and uh, it's looking it's looking solid. Now I, I will admit right off the bat here, I have done quite a bit of playing around with what to do next. Um both off recording and I tried recording this at one point and uh yeah, I had an issue with the, the recording. Um but I played around a bit, and I, I think with how we're looking, I don't know if I actually want the freeway to come through here. Um, obviously, we are going to connect up there. But as far as having the freeway come through, if we're planning on keeping this low residential, which I believe I am, uh, or low density residential, that is, if that's the case, I, we don't need the highway to come through here. I think instead what we could do is uh, actually what I'm about to do, and that is make a nice little roundabout here. So let me go ahead, we're going to bring this all back a bit, like so. And then the roundabouts are finicky, so I like to, and I've, I, I've pre-measured all of this, so we're okay there, yep. Perfect. Bam. Just a little two lane. I don't think we need a big four lane one or anything like that. Now, while that's sitting there, something I've noticed in City Skylines is that if you don't put this little plus sign in your roundabout, um, as you're connecting stuff to it, it'll warp. But if you keep the plus sign in it, it won't warp. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go back and, uh, and, and reconnect these. Not enough money. Oh no, <laughs> that's uh, that's not super ideal. We have somebody trapped on the the roundabout here, and we just lost all those buildings. Oh, mistakes. Mistakes were made. Grave, grave mistakes. Let's uh, let's reconnect. <laughs> all right, let's let it run for a second. And then we'll go ahead and uh, there you go, refund us a little bit of money and then let's start connecting this up. That was my bad. I totally forgot I had to let it run for a minute before we uh, we did that. But let's go ahead and connect this back up. Yeah, a 640 right there. And a 640 right there. And then let's actually have this facing the correct direction. There we go. And then we can go through because they will use this road if uh, if they can. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have just like a nice roundabout. I feel like this is... We need to rezone as well. I feel like this is the... Uh, kind of the ideal little thing here. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer and cleaner. Um, and also just... We won't have to worry about as much stuff. Now, what I did notice going through here is that we have a lot of pedestrian traffic, like a lot of foot traffic. Um, which, yeah, God, they look like ants. Oh, yeah, because here's the high school. Oh, my God, the children's school. What is happening? What? <laughs> We're just looking at, like, the nice stuff, and all of a sudden the children's school catches fire. Guys, what? Where are you going? Okay, there we go. They're, they're putting it out. Jesus Christ. All the poor kids caught fire. I was trying to make a nice freaking little roundabout and then the, ch <laughs> then the elementary school catches fire. All right. Well, you know, whatever, whatever. We're fine. We're doing totally okay. Right, right, right. Swear. All right, <laughs> but we got a nice little roundabout. Now, eventually, uh, probably in this episode, I will connect up here and we'll probably have another roundabout over here and we'll expand to the left and to the right. Uh, but for now, we don't really need to do that. What I want to focus on is the farm. Um, what building? Oh, yeah, we don't we don't want to do the disaster relief stuff yet. We do need elder care, but I would like to get the farm a bit more profitable, if possible. 
So something we want to focus on today is we want to do a flour mill for sure. And the flour mill does produce a little bit of pollution. So I want to have it kind of down here. And actually something I'd like to do. Let's see. Let me rock my dirt roads. Actually, I guess we could do because this is already regular road. Let me rock industrial road. And if I just went, let's see, what is the easiest way? I guess I could grid this little area out. Let's do that. We'll use, we'll use normal. How do I want to grid it though? Let's go to, we can connect up. Just go in and have like a little cul-de-sac type area there. Connect there. Connect there. Have a connection there. And then I think... I want a smooth connection through here, if I can. Although I guess it doesn't super matter. We could go like this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I just wanted to grid that out a little bit so that we could have another way for our trucks to come through. And then also I need to expand this district slightly so that we can place. Ooh, and actually doing it down here is actually exactly what I want. So I can put the flour mill down here and it'd be kind of fine. See, we could just have it right off of here. It's a little ugly. Actually, having it here might be the move. The only problem is that that does make it... Ah, we, we can work with this. So we'll place that right there. We now have a flour mill. And I might make this area for stuff like the bakery at some point. That's something where it's... This is basically what's going to make us all of our money. Um, and so I, I want that up and running basically ASAP. Let's see if actually if we just go up here and go across and connect. Everybody gets water. Look at that. Beautiful. But yeah, we can put the bakery in here because the bakery is going to also produce a little bit of um, pollution. So we do that. This is all good over here. We can hear the houses leveling up, which is great. That's going to cause us to have more, um, just more people being able to live in the houses. Now, what they're complaining about is not enough customers, which might be partly because we have a really poor infrastructure as far as, oh, we also have really poor coverage on stuff. Is it, oh no, that's okay. So fire, yeah, we need fire up here. We need a police station, probably. Okay, so we'll, once we expand up, we'll have to make another node of police, fire, and uh, medical. Um, but we have all this stuff. Let's see, how's our how's our our flour mill looking? Okay, so we got that. We do need a warehouse, which. Could be right here, or it could be right here. And we break the power lines again. <laughs> but it's just something we have to do. And actually, we don't need these power lines anymore. Oh, yes, we do. That's annoying. We need to build. We need to connect here. So until then, we must do that. <laughs> A little annoying. And we could we could connect across here, too, at some point. But um, we're looking. And actually, we don't... We don't need this. Just trying to cut cost infrastructure wise. What we could do instead. I don't think that's going to count. Let me go right here to right there. There we go. And then, yeah, that's kind of the closest location we can get that. All right, that's fine. 
And then let me pick this. We're going to store flour here. And then our next buy, I think, needs to be the bakery for 20000 And the bakery fits perfectly right across the street. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because the bakery, does that produce pollution? It does. It produces a little bit of pollution. Okay. Well, that's fine. Now, crops. And we're looking really good on crops, actually. I was going to say crops could start to be a problem, but they're not right now. We do have four fields, which is pretty good. Now, we do need more residential. I don't want to zone this area residential because I do feel like there's going to be spill of pollution. So that's not super ideal. But that's okay. I'm curious what route they take to deliver here. Okay, let's follow. So he goes, so he takes a left here. Oh, and then cuts through here and then goes up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah, we do need, we need elder care, but I also need to be able to make good money. <laughs> so, bakery time. There we go. All right. Now, do you want the your cupcakes coming from the polluted factory district? Probably not. <laughs> but, uh, but that's okay. And actually... Now that I think about it, we could start to dezone some of this. Like, let's get rid of this. And actually, I'm going to put a little commercial zone here. Just so that, you know, you're working at the factory, you have some shops you can run to real quick if you need to. And so they're waiting on, oh yeah, look at that. Production value, shooting up. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, so big thing is, okay, we need, <laughs> I need to stop messing around. We need elder care because we have child care right here. I would like to get elder care and then we'll start expanding the city. I think that's going to be necessary. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do a denser residential area. Um... If it's even viable on this tile, or if we're going to have to expand either over to here or over this way. I don't really know what I'm going with yet. But we'll figure it out. Eventually. I'm also thinking of making this area down here a timber. Um, uh, what is it called? Um, industry? Because I think... Having all the industry, like having the fo the farm and then having the timber back to back would be would be convenient. Might cause quite a bit of traffic, but we should be able to to deal with that. All right, now we can get our elder care, replace that right next to the child care, and that's just gonna make the entire city happy. So that's great. And now we can expand out. So in expanding out, which we actually, I'm going to wait a second. We're making so much money now. <laughs> We're making so much money thanks to the bakery. Yeah, the bakery's killing it. This is making 2,400 a week in profit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We'll let this go a little bit because I'm going to extend these roads. And we're going to start doing another residential area and then we'll connect through we'll see and i mean i could i could in theory do a second farm over here but i'm not going to and i think i'm gonna make this area a national park or a nature reserve i mean because it's just like a cool looking little area it's right on the water uh, and it's not next to a farm it'll be next to a residential so i think that works a little bit better all right let's pause it now, what I want to do is we got to line this up correctly. Are my guides off? No, they're on. Okay. So I believe it's this line here. Whoops. Is. Let me see. If I. Oh. So if I follow this up. I believe that lines up correctly. Yes, and then this one's two over like this. That looks correct. Yeah, okay. 
There we go. <laughs> We're just using that as like our start point. And then let me, just so I don't break. I don't think it will, but just so I don't. Let's do this real quick. Cause we don't want like three sides to look really good and then one side be completely jank. Perfect, 640 right to there. 640 right to there. And let's flip these. There we go. Uh, what? Okay, like that. Yeah, that's right. All right. And then we can just bring these out a bit. We'll say... We could go right there. Yeah. That feels, that feels okay. All right, we'll take that. Go like that, and then... What I want... Is this being about here. We want to try and make this... Let me... We want to make this even. There you go. Just using... There we go. All right. Oh, that's very close to here. And is that too far apart? Huh. Maybe bringing it in one more. Like this. Let me delete this. And then doing the same thing here. And I mean, we could do the big four lane one, but I don't think we need that. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, right there. All right, that's what we're going to connect to. That's going to be where our two big changes are. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's sign this bad boy. Then let's get these connected. And we don't necessarily have to. Um... Okay, so these ones are going to be a bit longer, but that's okay. 720 right at the arrows. And then we want to do that all the way down. Yeah. Okay, that's looking good. Then... Let's, uh, let's connect these actually first. Like this is more important. <laughs> so go to there. Again, it doesn't have to be super perfect as far as I just want it to function. Oh, we got 640 again, nice. And I'm just using the cost to kind of measure a bit. So we do that. And then Let's go ahead, take these off, and we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to extend this out a bit. Oh, well, we'll eventually do it. <laughs> we'll eventually do it. I do see we need to change up this whole side. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now we have full connectivity in the city. Our roundabout stayed good. This roundabout, we're going to keep this way for now, just because we don't need it to do anything. And then once we once we get some more money, we'll be able to expand out, and we'll just start gridding towards the, um, the what do you call it, the four-lane, like, main, main arterial, or not arterials, the collectors through the city. So that should work out. And of course we'll need... Are they complaining about workers? Oh. Yeah, okay. That's fine. You guys are going to end up abandoning. That's okay. Let's. We're going to let this run while we do this. And I'm fine with... If, if stuff needs to be abandoned, like, whatever. It's, it happens. Businesses go out of business. Simple as that. Now, what do I want to do with this rock formation over here? I don't know. <laughs> so, I, I might just have to destroy it. 
Yeah, I think I think this is necessary. As nice as it is, I, we're not going to be using it for anything. And we'll have this go out. I'm going to let this I'm going to put this down at a slower speed while we do this. And then now that we got that, we can start kind of gridding, continue to grid based off of this. What I want to do right out of the gate, though, is make sure I have connecting ways through the area. There we go. Invalid shape. Oh, is it because? Yep. <laughs> Forgot to unclick. Okay, but we do that. And then this one isn't perfect. I don't like how close that's going to be, though. Let's have this. That'll give us some, some slightly different stuff. And then we can also have a connection across here. Just so we have a little bit more connectivity. And then we can use these to base our grid. So, like, over here, right out of the bat, we could just kind of start going across. Having some of these more, I guess, interesting little things. And then what we could do is we could just have some just convenient little, like, cul-de-sac type little things. Because we don't want to build right up against this main, this main road here, I don't think. And we can actually go up to here on these. Just so we're, we're using up all the land we got. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll just have these go across like so. And this one. Yeah, that works. Okay. Do that. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. Now, is this... Could we connect stuff? Like, could we have... You know, more connections, sure. But I don't necessarily think it's necessary, for lack of a better term. See, this one wants to be curved, which is fine. Get a nice little... There you go. And this one could just go straight across. And now we have a bigger grid, which is nice. Like, we'll have... This is a lot of space. So, let's go ahead, make sure we got all our water lines underneath, take them down these main roads, and it should be able to provide quite a bit of coverage, and we'll just have to run one right through the center. There we go. Bring this all the way down. It's expensive, yes, but it's also a necessity, so I'm not too worried about that. And then what we could do, since that goes under the road, just do that so that it has coverage and it's still not going to be under any houses. And that's what we're looking for. And then let's go ahead and we'll just do that. So everything's nice and set up via water. Now, before we start placing a bunch of random stuff, our electricity is looking good. How is our landfill looking? 48% full. We might have to place another one eventually. Um, but I'm hoping to unlock incinerators by then. And then something I want to do as well is we're going to take these districts. We got a fire, which isn't super ideal. I'm just going to ex extend the um, the districts out a bit. There we go. Okay. Now, we do need names for these still. I haven't come up with names yet, but we'll need them eventually. Now, as far as coverage for stuff goes, we definitely need, you know, coverage. Why is this? It won't let me place it there. Weird. Okay, so we can place it there. I don't really want it like that, though. See, I think right off of this little main area here, we're going to go ahead, place a... Healthcare facility. We definitely need fire. And I'm probably going to put the fire one on this side. Because this is where all the trees are. <laughs> and I feel like that's what's going to be affected first. Now this doesn't have power, which is fine. And actually, I guess we could... Start to... 
Let's see, I guess we could go like so. Yeah, that works. And we'll do one more in here. Because we do want stuff like parks. We'll need schools. Um, but for now, I think I'm fine with uh, with just zoning this little bit here while we collect money and can then place our much-needed facilities. Now, our elementary school availability is high, but we I think it's because I placed two of them really close to each other. Oh, no, I didn't. Do we? Yeah, the, oh, that's the community school. This is a regular elementary school. So we'll probably need one more school somewhere up here, and that could maybe service both. But uh, but for now, our residential demand's going down, which is great. We got enough money for a fire department. The fire department is going to be right off of here. There we go. Now, they're all stoked because they're not going to burn down as easy because our fire department's over here somewhere. Right here, right? Yeah. Um, and then we'll set up a police station, which our crime rate's 9%. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not super ideal. We'll put a police station right here once we can. Then I do, I want to think of a, because we, I want to name these districts, and then I want to name the, the farm, kind of, ba either the farm based off the districts, or the districts based off the farm. But, we'll see. We'll see. If anybody wants their, uh, their name on the, on the city, let me know. <laughs> I'll name, I'll name a district or the farm after you. Let's see, so we place the police department right there, and bam, we have coverage of everything that we need. Now, an elementary school, I want to kind of use this main little square right here for our elementary school coverage. Could have it right there. I like that placement. Yeah. Then we want to plop a park. Right like that. And now all these kids can walk through the park to get to school. It's a nice little area. Hard to complain. And then we really need buses. <laughs> that is something we absolutely need. I'm going to make a little commercial area right in here. And then we'll do another one right off of here. And the rest of this can kind of just be... Actually, no. I don't want that one as commercial. Oops. Let me go like that. There we go. And actually, I guess we don't need this one as commercial either. I'm sorry, buildings. You've been rezoned. But we're going to have to keep this buffer from the farm. So using um, using some commercial or eventually maybe even uh, office, but probably commercial more likely um, would be ideal. Because I'm trying not to keep have commercial on this main strip. I want that all to be this road to be used by the farm uh, mainly. Ooh, these guys don't have power. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would be good to give them power. There we go. They should get power pretty soon. Once this connects through. There we go. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now everybody's all happy. We do have some commercial demand, which I think... Hmm... Well, I'm curious, like, how noisy is this? How noisy is the actual farm? It's not noisy at all. So actually having a bunch of stuff in here won't cause that much noise. So we could actually zone. I'm just going to zone, zone the stuff that's not on that road. Like so. Yeah. That worked out really good. Stop telling me to buy new land. I don't need new land right now. Be gone with that shit. There we go. Just a whole bunch of people coming in. And now's where we can... Just zone commercial all the way across. And now we kind of have two hubs of stuff happening, right? Like this little, these main drags. Oh, and I need to get rid of this now. Because that's just going to break that entirely. And actually something I need to do is junctions. 
because we don't need we don't need these to be stop lights necessarily we could just have them as stop signs Ooh, we are running low on power but that's okay because we have a lot of money so I need to make sure there's no unnecessary stop sign or uh, stop lights there we go Uh, there we go. Alright. Let's start placing some more electricity. We need that. Luckily, we have this entire lake, basically, that we're going to fill out. And eventually, if I can, I'll get rid of the coal power plant. Uh, we could just place a bunch of these and get rid of it. So I'd like to, again, I'd like to kind of de... de-pollute this area, if we can. At least a little bit. Because we will need that. Alright, our... our uh, power went up. That's good. All our cares are up. Our fire coverage is good enough, I think. I have thought about putting a little fire department out here, but uh, we don't need that quite yet. Um, let's get traffic off. Traffic being 40% is great. Or 40%, 90%, 90%. I don't know why I saw 40%. Let's see, so our flower... Production isn't amazing. I mean, we have a lot of crops. What is slowing down our flower production? Nothing really. We just we just need more flour. Okay. Yeah, we just don't have. I mean, we could do another flower factory and just put it across. Like we could just put it place another one here. Um, which wouldn't be the worst idea, but before I do that, let's go ahead and I want to do some more crop fields. I'm gonna straight. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add four more. We're gonna go buck wild. Um, and you know, let's let's leave these ones as wheat. We'll we'll change it up a little bit. We'll have some varying things. Now, what I what I should do if I'm gonna do that, add a small barn. See, let's add a small barn over here. Uh, let's have it right here. So that way they storing, they're storing the crops near the flower so that it gets there quicker. Um, cause yeah, we, we need that to be a thing. <laughs> we definitely need that to be a thing. All right. Everybody's on the move. How are these silos looking? Silos are looking good. And now we actually have wheat, so having grain silos makes sense. As far as we're making 2,500 a week from them, beautiful. This one's still producing quite a bit. I mean, if we, what happens if we jack up the production? Okay, so it, it makes the upkeep higher. We'll keep it at 100%. There we go. And we could make that a uh, more wild if we wanted to. So let's finish up. We definitely want to finish zoning the residential over here. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. A lot of residential. I should put a, it's a park in here actually. Before too many of them. Let's do... We don't have a lot of parks on this side. Let's do a little carousel. Let's do a carousel looking out over the water. There you go. Right there. And then let's do a dog park more inside the area. There you go. Destroyed some homes, but that's okay. <laughs> that's totally okay. And then... Let's see. How's our education looking? So this area is a little devoid of stuff. So let's actually place this little community school next to the carousel. And that'll cover this main area over here. And then our high school. Our capacity is huge. 
these students are not going to high school, so these ones are. So having it just over here is fine. They can go down this main drag. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, one last thing I want to do for this episode is I want to get bus routes going. I feel like having a good bus line going through is going to be super important. Um, for the city. Because of how much, like, just the sheer amount of foot traffic we have going across. And, like, that's that could be dangerous. And so I want to do buses. I do want to do biofuel buses. So we're going to hold off until we get to 40,000. But I think this could be a huge boon for us. Um... God, we just, we, our flower production's terrible. Why is it so bad? Is it because we don't have enough workers? Hmm. Little annoying. Little annoying for sure. <laughs> but we hit 40,000. Let's go ahead. I'm going to place it over here just so that this is the starting zone. There we go. And then we can do some bus lines. Okay. So the way I want to do this is probably looking at three bus lines. One going through each district. And then one that kind of connects everything. So let's go ahead and we'll do... Let's see, let's... I don't want them... We need to be careful, I don't want them... It causes a lot of traffic if we place them right next to the roundabout. So I'm going to actually have them here. And then we're just going to kind of go down this little main way right here. Go like that. Now there's nothing really over here to, to justify a stop yet. But there will be more stuff in that area soon. There we go. I just want this to loop through the whole little area so that if you're, no matter where you are, you have, you can walk to a bus stop that gets you from one side to the other. And then we want to do the same thing basically over here. This one's going to be a little bit longer because we have this area down here. But we can go ahead we want to start this. We can start this right here. Have it come on down. Just coming up through here. And they can get off the bus here and go to the shops. No real issue. And just let this come all the way down. And we got to make sure there's a stop right here that gives you access to the schools. Beautiful. And then our school that's over here, we're going to use somewhat as a ideal stopping place. We'll go right there. Pop one right there. That way you can walk across the street, walk to school. And we're just going to follow the coast with this one. Just to have some nice bit of interconnectivity. And then it can go right back on up. And connect. And there we go. It's a bit of a long bus route. But that should be. Basically okay. Um, it just gives general. A good general connectivity. And we can go ahead and edit these lines. Let's make this one. Make this one red. And then we'll make this one. Uh, we'll make it green. Oh, it didn't save. Whoops. There you go. And then this can be the red line. At least for now. If we if we eventually name these districts, I'll change the names. To, uh... To match the districts they're going through. Um, but I think that gives pretty good coverage. And I, I guess we should do one more that is going to be near some of the stops. Let's see. I don't want it. Yeah, this is far enough. So we go right there because there's a stop here. 
And then we're gonna go right... That one's too close, we'll go right there. But this is just gonna take you to work, basically. We want this to be... The basic, we want this to highlight that, hey, oh, we know we're very aware a lot of people work at the farm. So we're going to make it so that all these people can do that. And then, let's see, we'll go ahead and uh, we could have it stop over here and then we'll just connect it back. And this one, which is probably the one we should have made green, we'll make it yellow. Yeah, we'll make this one the farm line. And now we just have... And now if we look at our lines... whether If you're going to work, if you take the green or the red line, you can then transfer to the yellow line and get to work with no problem. It's not, it's not a perfect system, but as long as enough people ride it, we can justify it. Because um, it will cause, you know, us to have less traffic. It's just good to have buses going throughout the city. And, uh, and yeah, I think that, that works out quite well for us. Really no... No huge complaints here. <laughs> now, we do need a bit of commercial... So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll give these guys some commercial over here. So we've been kind of neglecting them a little bit. And we'll have it go right up to... Yeah, we'll have it go up to there. And that should spawn in basically immediately. <laughs> there we go. That, I feel like, looks really good. Our farm's over here crushing it. Kind of. We need more flour. <laughs> and actually, I think that's, that's one of the last things I'll do for this episode. Is I'm going to make one more flour mill. Um, and as far as having good places to put it, I think I might just put it right here. So look, what we could do... Let's expand this farm just to cover up this area here. Because, I mean, it's fine having the bakery within the farm area. And then we could go like that. And now we have two flour mills... Flower should no longer be an issue for us. Um, as far as jobs go, we have a lot of potential jobs. We we, we want to level up our uh, we want to level up our farm for sure. But uh, right now, we're not going to expand from here. We're gonna we're gonna wait till we level up to start expanding again. And we do have residential demand a ton of it now. Jesus, it never stops. <laughs> But that's okay. We can we can lead this for now. We're at uh, three thousand, basically four hundred. What is our? What do we need to get to for this? So we need six thousand. So we're about was that twenty six hundred off from uh, high density? And maybe we make a high density zone over here next to the the big park. Um, that could that could actually work. Having this square be high density. And just having um, kind of another collector that goes through. Kind of a main strip over there. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is just a cute little town for right now. <laughs> that has a ton of residential demand. But uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave this one here. Um, it's it's looking, looking pretty solid. If you guys have names for either the farm or either the districts, let me know. And, uh, and yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. See ya.